Who's ready? Are you strapped in? You ready to go? You ready to do this? You excited? You motivated? You ready to do this? Because I am ready to do this. Today is 9 5 2013. And in school today, we had um, a speaker come in, motivational speaker, dynamic speaker. His name was Harvey Alston. Now, everything I'm going to say is from what happened there. I have not taken the time yet to go on the interwebs and go on YouTube and see what else he, um, what other speeches he's given to other groups of people and what that was focused on. All right, but motivational speaker, dynamic speaker, dynamic speaker, inspirational speaker. That is something that I have um, looked into kind of not really looked into but i've seen a lot of recently over the past months i've looked up the kind of stuff and i've seen kind of what um the what the talks of of, of uh life and what all that is and whatnot and i'm safe to say that uh this is just a reminder in a way but there's a lot here um see the weird thing about this in this story is i wrote it all down in school um i wanted to compile my notes and i did it in school not at home in the journal but I'm gonna tear these out and put them in there because there's a lot here, and we're gonna we're kind of gonna cover it all again. But here we go, school, okay? And here's what I've got overall picture from the assembly. This is what I got from it. It didn't focus on reality, but school and common knowledge about education, okay? The message that I received from it. Um, that I think a lot of people get and that, that I saw from it was that you need to go to school, you need to go to college, you need to get that degree so you can make money, so you can be successful. It didn't say that you have to make sure that you're going to college to be successful. When you go to college, you have to make sure that you're studying in a field that you can actually get a job. You have to have a reasonable job in mind, a reasonable career path. Once you have a reasonable career path, you can build off of it. That is the meaning of life. You have to start somewhere and then build. I'm a grill cook at Bob Evans right now, making $8.25 an hour. Okay, I'm not going to do that for the rest of my life. It's a building stone. This has gotten me into the workplace, a decent and uh, above most workplaces that most of today's youth works in. I'm a step of that. You know what I mean? I already have a stronger foundation for the workforce and what's expected of me. Okay? Education. The education system is broken. I see it every day in certain classes this year when I have the same teacher I had last year in a class and this year the teacher is doing something completely different because it's something that the teachers for that grade level have done every year. And she doesn't want to be different. She wants us to, everyone to be uniform. All the students in 12th grade to be uniform and be learning the information in a similar to the exact same way. Even though it's not the way she teaches. And she doesn't want to teach that way. She's doing it. And it sucks, honestly. Education is not about packets and worksheets. Okay? It's about lecturing and talking and discussions and talking about things openly as a class and being able to know that you can say anything to any one of the people in the classroom and the teacher and you're not going to be judged. You're not going to be oppressed upon. And you're not going to have to uh, be afraid to say what you're thinking. See, that's one of the reasons why I don't I'm not as open as I should be at school and when I'm not around certain people because I know I'm going to be judged. I know these people aren't going to understand because that's just the way life is. Now, a lot of this we've already said and had out. But here was a big point. He said lowering the bar for everybody. Now, I don't remember the exact details of this. Now, the reason why I don't remember the exact details of his 45 to hour long speech is because everything he said I either agreed, disagreed, and when I disagreed, I had a counter argument, a counter example, or my own meaning for what he said that I've already developed, and it's already there, and I already have things to back it up. Not, it's not to be disrespectful or to disagree with anything. It's simply because I'm the same way. I'm an inspirational speaker in a way. That's honestly what I, th uh, when I saw this kind of stuff, that's what I'm like, I kind of do that when I retire. When I retire, I want to go around, I want to talk to kids. And tell them that they need to be successful. That they need to do it for themselves. They need to find them and do them all the time. Okay? Okay, moving on. We'll talk about that. That's like an education thing. We talked about it, and it's a big thing in my school. I don't take the honors classes and stuff because I don't want to. I could and I should to push myself, but I don't want to because I shouldn't 
have to take the honors classes to get the better education in a way. See, what they do with the average classes is since all the average and below students take there, they lower the bar even more to make sure that those people can pass. They don't set the bar high and make the average kids work harder. They lower the bar down so the average kids can be average. And even the kids that say they're accelerated and are above everybody, they're still average because they're not working harder. Okay? For me, I honestly don't have to try that much in the school. It comes to me naturally because it's simply, when you're in those average classes, if you do what you're told to do, you pick up things fine. In the honors classes, you have to do a little bit more for yourself. You don't get kind of everything handed to you or you have to do things out of school. And I'm not for that. Okay? High school is not about that. Save that for college when you're paying for an education to do things outside of the classroom. I'm not getting paying for my education now. I'm not going to be taking stuff home and doing it unless I have to or unless I have to do it for the betterment of my education. Okay? Being the best you can be. That is his message. Harvey Alston's message in this speech and about everything, his motto per se, be the best. Be the best. Where is it? Um, I got to find it here. Bear with me. My notes, you can always tell. I haven't done the same lecture multiple times. So, good, better, best, never be at rest until your uh, good is better and your better is the best. Always do the best you can do. No matter what it takes, no matter how much you have to push yourself, no matter how much you question, no matter what you're feeling, no matter what is happening, make sure you're trying your hardest. You could try a little bit better. He brought up a strong point when he pulled one select individual out of the crowd to kind of, in a way, try to put his life or his kind of school situation into perspective. And you can try a little bit harder. Could you have tried a little bit harder in school last year? Just a little bit. It would have made a huge difference. See, the thing about high school and college, you have to build a foundation. You have to get A's, B's, a 4.0 plus the first two years. After that, you still have to do good. But you don't have to work as hard. You don't have to get the 4.0 because the GPA won't drop down. Okay? I did okay freshman and sophomore year. My GPA stayed around a solid 3.7. I think it was. Or 3.6, 3.7. It kind of kept going up. But last year, 4.0 all year. And I noticed how even though I got a 4.0 all year, the 3.7 didn't jump up to a 3.8. It didn't move at all. You have to start somewhere. You have to have a solid foundation okay but here it is happy being truly deeply happy happy is internal you have to find it within yourself i try to stress this to everybody that i care about and everyone that i talk to about these things happy is something inside of you it's something that you have to find for yourself you have to find what's going to make you happy. You have to go out there and get it. You have to get it. And when you get it, you have to hold on to it. Okay? You can't quit and abandon ship because things are hard. But th Because things maybe aren't working out the way you thought they would. Or they're not going the way you thought they would. You have to stick with it because you are happy with it. You think you're not because you're not getting what you thought you were going to get out of it. But you're still getting it. You're just not getting it the way you thought. So you're questioning it. And you're wondering, why is this happening? What is going on? Why is this working like this? But here's the thing. He broke down the word happy. There's a meaning to the word. It's his meaning in a way, but a universal meaning at the same time. And remember, okay, these are Harvey's specific ex explanations and definitions of the, of the word happy. Okay, I'm not, I have my own reasons and explanations for each of these words that spell out the word happy, okay? We're going to combine it. Remember, this is coming from me through what I've seen and what already has changed in my viewpoint. So I can't really necessarily say what my old beliefs were because I have a new set of beliefs in some aspects of things. That's what happens to me. When I change my beliefs and the way I think about things, I don't necessarily, I can't look back really and say, well, I was like this before and now I'm like this. Yeah, I'm just kind of like this now. So just live with it. H, you have to have heart heart okay heart can be anything from emotions to love to feelings to dedication okay i have a lot of heart for what i do 
I care about it. I love YouTube. Things are going nowhere for me like this, small things, but I keep doing it. I do it because it's fun. I do it because I like doing. I like working with these computer programs and learning how to use them. It's fun. I like playing computer games. I like going to work. I like spending time with people that matter and doing experiences with people that matter. People that I care about. People that I hope that will be there when the time comes and when things get rough. Another thing, I'm going to take some water. I'm a little thirsty. I haven't drank all day. It's a school thing. You don't have time to drink in school. He's on that white stuff in school. It's all alcohol. Got to watch out for that. Alcohol. Stay away. A. Attitude. Core tapped me on the shoulder. When? He said, have a good attitude. I have a great attitude for things that count in life. My school's a shithole. Okay? I don't go to... He talked about how it's a good school. And it is a good school. We have a very great school. Spirit-wise comfort wise and feelings wise but the education level there that's the shit part of it see when i describe my school and say it's a shithole i don't mean that the atmosphere is bad it's a very positive atmosphere and it's a great atmosphere it truly is a family there all these people but the education level it sucks it's it's crap it's terrible okay that doesn't mean I have a bad attitude towards the school or towards life. I have a great attitude towards life and everything I do. I've learned that he talked about something when it comes to the workplace. And when you're that person that um, enjoys what you do and enjoys doing the things you're doing and enjoy being where you're being, that the people that are there with you, they flock to you. They want to be around you when you're there. They want to talk with you. They want to have fun with you. I connected to that when it comes to the workplace. My job can get stressful, it can get down, and I honestly got very frustrated with it over the summer because I was there so much. And I learned that the reason why I enjoy it so much is because of my attitude towards it. I don't mind going to work. I don't mind going there and being with the people I work with. It's fun. I enjoy it. The atmosphere is positive. We're excited, okay? We make the bad good. We can fight through it. We make it better. I have a good attitude, okay? I'm willing to do what it takes, no matter what, for things I'm passionate about. The relationship. We'll talk about that in a separate thing. It's deep and private in a way, but I don't care about letting it out, because that's what you do. But I have a good attitude towards it, even though it's not going to so the way I hoped it would. There's things of it that I think are missing, or things that could be better, but I can't control it. But I still have a positive attitude for it. I want to make it work. I'm not going to give up on it. P, the first P, of course, for people. Okay? He walked and said, you all like people, right? No, you all hate people. Or something like that. Something about hating people and how everyone hates people. I don't hate everybody, but people do stupid things, and I dislike a lot of the people because of the way they act. A lot of the things about people, they don't always act the way they are or the who they are. They act it for attention for lot, I don't know, that's a bad word. I don't even know what that word means necessarily. I gotta look that up. But they act the way they do for attention to be noticed and to be known and to be somebody because they can't be somebody for themselves. They can't be someone to themselves because they haven't found themselves yet. Everyone will find themselves in life, deep, deep, deep down inside of you when you find out what you want to be and who you are. You won't be looking for attention for everybody else anymore. You'll be trying to get them to do the exact same thing you did because you realize how stupid it is the things you do when you're trying to get attention from everybody else because you don't know you. Second P is for pride. Have pride in yourself. Have pride in your work. Have pride in your education. Have pride in what you do and pride in who you are. Pride in every single aspect of day. Pride in waking up in the morning. Pride in your walking, in your step, in your voice, in your attitude when you're talking to people. I have a shitty ass voice when I'm at school. I show zero pride in who I am when it comes to things because I don't like when people say I'm smart or I'm these things that hypothetically or technically speaking I am that person I hate when people say I'm smart and that you know I don't have to work as hard because I don't like thinking of myself as that even though it's true I like to say you could be the same way but you just have to work a little bit harder do a little bit more see the thing about life everyone relates it to sports and and how in sports just do one more bench press, one more lap around the track, and you'll be better. It's the same thing with education. Read one more page. Do one more problem. 
Read it over one more time. Study one more hour. Okay? Education, reading, is the key to success. Not always going to the gym and trying to run that extra lap. But they can relate to the same thing. Then the why. You. 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 Not me. You. You. Me. You. You. Me. Okay? You have to find you. Yourself. What makes you happy. What you want to be. What you want to do. And you got to go get it. Okay? You have to make sure that in life, no matter who you are or who you think you are, you have to make sure that every once in a while, when something is important to you, you stay strong to it and prove that it's important to you. You stick with it because it's important to you. There comes times in life where you, ha you face situations and moments where there's two things that are important to you. One's been there longer than the other, or one hasn't been, or vice versa. And you have to choose which one to you is quote-unquote more important right then. Either way, you're going to feel bad about choosing which one because you couldn't choose the other one at the same time because they were both that important. And you're going to have regrets and doubts about the one you picked. And in the end, it's going to hit you maybe that you made the wrong decision. And sometimes it comes to the point where you realize, I made the wrong decision and I didn't even make the right decision by picking the other thing that meant a lot or that I thought meant a lot because it wasn't quite what I really wanted, even though I thought it was. I let other things take control. I wasn't being me. I wasn't being you. You weren't being you. You have to do things for yourself. Stop worrying about other people and their emotions, their problems, their situations. They need to figure it out on their own. That's the problem with today. People are jumping on other people's boats and bandwagons and trying to help them out when they're younger and then not let them do it on their own. I think I kind of showed that to my parents when I isolated myself from everything and from them, is that maybe I needed to, that maybe he wants to be alone, that he wants to, to, to figure this stuff out on his own, okay? You have to control your own emotions, okay? If you're holding on to these people and helping them through their emotional times and their hard times and their hardships, it's fine. But you can't always do that because then when you're not there, they won't know what to do. They'll break down. And you don't want that to happen. Breakdowns are terrible. Bad, 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 bad. So that's happy. Heart, attitude, people, pride, you. We were screaming that. The atmosphere changed at this assembly. Okay, the thing about motivational speakers and speakers, they're very energetic. Me, I'm kind of monotone when it comes to the speaking thing because I like to think of when I'm monotone, it shows the seriousness. But I get also get very energetic when I'm serious about something too. But very energetic these speakers and they kind of it changes the crowd throughout the throughout the presentation from beginning to end you can see the enthusiasm grow and build okay all right try just a little harder we talked about that uh doesn't focus on what you can actually study uh solid to get a good job okay all right um we talked about that too so i'm not going to cover it uh developing a work ethic and trying to be the very best of all time. He talked about that. Um, the important thing when you're younger is to develop a good work ethic. You start in high school by kind of... See, the thing about me in education, I know that what I'm doing in college would not work at all. That's one of the reasons why I don't necessarily want to go to college. One, I'm not going to make another four years behind a desk. No way. I can barely even do it now. I dread it. I just... I'm not... I got to be moving, be able to talk, moving. I, you know, I can't sit behind a desk anymore and do what they tell me to do. You know, for a while I thought about, now I'm going to college, I can pick what I want to learn about. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, so I'll sit behind the desk. We don't want the de no desk. And then you, you think about it, logically you're like, it's four years though. And then you have another 60 years not to sit behind a desk. Yeah, it's still four years I don't want to deal with right now. No. Military. We're going in. Okay. Here we go. Wasn't so much about life and life success, but steps to get there. Education in college. I felt like this was a cry for education in college. It wasn't telling you that in life you can be anything you wanted no matter how long it takes. You don't have to go to college right after school, okay? Maybe you need to ponder your life and things for a little bit. It doesn't talk about, it didn't talk, I thought it was going to be more about life, life success, overall success. Not so much now. And college, okay? Like I felt like that's kind of what I want to focus on. I focus on education a lot. 
and how you have a very good education thing going for you. These teachers love you. The atmosphere is great, and it's good. You got to make the best of it, and you do. But life isn't always about education. It's an important thing, but once you're educated and you have your job, unless you find, unless you try to do something else after that job, because you can, you don't want to do the whole job your whole life. You got to be able to do something else. But a lot of people do the same job, and they don't have freedoms or other things to do. All right, wasn't focused on. I wrote this down multiple times. Wasn't focused on being successful. I have heard this before about success, and this is what I focus on in my speaking. Okay, I found my most my favorite. I'll, I'll link it or something. I forget the guy's name. I feel bad, but he talks about how to be successful in life. When you want to uh, be a success, ah, fuck, how's it go? When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. You have to want it. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Okay? Uh, I didn't something the way I thought. Oh. I, what? I didn't what? It didn't. I, I don't even know. Something sound from the motivational video. Okay, I don't even know what that means. Okay? Uh, moving on. We've got some quotes. Move into those later. But uh, here we go. Finding what you want to be, but being realistic at the same time. See, the thing about these speakers and things that you hear in high school, the teachers give you unrealistic expectations and goals for yourself. They say, if you want to be a football player, you can be a football player. you got to work at it. No. It doesn't work that way. You have to actually have a little bit of talent in a way to, in today's world, to go somewhere. Otherwise, you have to work really, really hard. And the thing about being good in sports is now you have to have a backup plan unless you're just that good. And when you're that good, you know you're that good. Okay? But you have to have a backup plan. You have to worry about education. The thing you see a lot in high school now is, in my school especially, a lot of these kids that think they're good at sports and they are good at sports, they're not good academically. They don't care about academics. They could do a lot better in academics, but they don't try in academics because they think they're, they're, they're good at the sport. They'll go with the sport. They don't need academics. In college, you have to do academics too. And if you don't do good in academics, you'll get booted. You won't be able to play. You have to do something with academics. It's important to remember that. Uh, knowing where you want to go and actually going there. My biggest life change, I figured out what I wanted and where I wanted to go, and I got there. Now I'm there. Not what I exactly what I expected, but I'm working through it. I want to make it work because it's what I want. I, I don't quit. Okay? Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, for an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. When you quit on something that you wanted because it didn't work out, it didn't go the way you planned, you can't go back. As soon as you say, I'm done, you walk away. You can't crawl back. It's over. Okay? You have to move on. Okay? Look up, get up, but don't ever give up. Okay? No matter how hard you're beating down, no matter how much you're questioning, no matter how emotional and how deep it gets and how much it hurts to think about it, you have to get up. You have to keep going. Keep trying to be the best you can be. The best you know how to be. That's what you have to do. You have to do it for yourself because it's you and it's inside of you. Okay? This was something that was funny, but you have to be able to read it into context. He asked, because he goes around all different age groups, right? And he talks... Uh, he talks about how he went to an elementary school, and he asked the little kids, and you're being all lovey-dovey and talking to the little kids the way you talk to him. And he asked them, "What is a hero?" You got people saying, oh, "Batman, Superman," you know, th those kind of those kind of characters. Visualize those. And then some kid says, "Ocho Cinco," and he says, "Shut up! Shut up! No, sit down. No." Okay. He talked something that was fascinating. 
and that made sense as he says he was relating how we got reality shows for these people that didn't go to college didn't do this that do stupid things but we're giving them the money they're getting the money for doing stupid things that's how reality you know these fake visions of reality and what's out there and you believe them but you won't admit to say you believe them okay can't think you're gonna live a life like that it's not there nobody what is a hero? Someone who makes a difference in someone else's life. You've made a difference to someone else. Sometimes they won't admit it. You won't be able to admit it to yourself that you've made that difference. But you know that you have made a difference in their life. I know that I've made a difference in multiple people's lives already. But I don't like to think of myself as a hero or someone that's actually made a difference in their lives. Even though I know I have. I know I've done it. It's there. It's happened. I know it's happened. Okay? Nobody asks to be a hero. It just sometimes turns out that way. Soldiers, anybody. I'm not asking to be a hero or looked upon. I just try to be me, do what's right, speak my mind. Speak my mind. I don't know if you got that one. And just speak it all. Regardless. I've just learned to do that and that's what I like doing now. Okay. Um all right. These speakers and speeches have helped remind me of who I am and what I want in life. To remember this. Always be you. Do you. Let me be me. Good song. True song. Okay? You have to do you all the time, no matter what it takes. Especially around the people you care about. You can kind of be lenient when it, you're not around the people you care about. Or I'm not always me, technically in school, you could say. But I'm still me in a way. Not fully, though. But I'm still me. Why I continue to do what I do. Because it is truly what I want in my life. Through the hardness in it. When I question what everything is. And if it's what I want. But if I'm... I hate how I can't read my writing sometimes when I'm reading this. It pisses me off. But if I'm... something with and going uh through the questions hard hardships and hard times it is what i want if you're going through hard times and hardships right my life isn't really that hard i let it be hard i want it to be hard you know for me in my situation in life and my standings some of the problems i face and questions i question could be considered hardships i work through them i don't let them get the best of me i don't quit i don't give up anymore i keep trying I question things because of actions. Because people don't always go on what they say. They don't always act. They don't. They use words, but not actions. Their words don't reflect actions. You speak, through, you speak of love, but never lead through action. That's from a song. And it's, it's crazy, okay? All right, all right, all right, moving on. Being able to find your own message from Harvey as well as other speakers, okay? You know that you found yourself and you found you and you have a grasp on life and how things work when you can hear these speakers and you get your own message from them. You take your own meanings and your own your own uh your own everything in you. You have your own. You develop your own. You can agree with it, you can disagree with it, and you can actually listen to what he's saying and understand truly what he's trying to say. Okay? That's me. Okay? No, excuse me. Finding you your meaning, what you want in life. I've, I've bring this up multiple times, but no one ever does it. No one wants to be truly happy. I'm truly happy even though you think I'm not. Maybe because I'm not showing it in the way, I, uh, 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 through emotions or something that, I, that normal people would show it. But I'm happy with my life right now. Honestly, right now, this moment, something, something semi-big in a way with something is going on. You don't know what it is, but you'll know eventually. And the person's telling me that they don't think I'm happy, that I want to quit and give up, that something is out of place and isn't right. I came to the realization over the week, over the past couple of days, that I've done with this all I can on my end. And even though I think I can keep doing more, there's more that I can do. There's not. I got to just keep doing what all I can do. And then when I know that's all I can do, don't think I can do more. I've done my my end. You have to let the other person do theirs. That's how the relationship thing works. Watch the relationship video. That's what we said. 
it's you plus me equals us. You can't do everything by yourself, and I've learned that about being truly happy. Some of these things that make me truly happy, I can't do them all on my own. I have to wait for other people to do their end of the deal. When I want to do these experiences and go on these trips with people, I can't do it by myself. I have to wait for them to realize that they want to do it too and see if that's the, what they really want. I can't do it all. Even though I think I can, I can't. It's not possible. I don't want to seem disrespectful or disagree. Disagree. But we're younger. I think the same way and truly understand and know all of what was said. I just have my own understanding and experiences to back up my thoughts. Just like every motivational speaker. Is the time for these speakers or messages to me and myself purposeful because of what is going on in reality and in my life slash feelings? That I question, I think about. Because I have a spiritual relationship with God and with the way God and me work and the way we think and everything, I have a spiritual relationship with him, and I think that everything happens for a reason. Everything has a purpose and a story behind it. Every feeling, every emotion, everything like this. Okay? And round trip with this motivational speaker towards the end, uh, the Terminator, one of our principals, she, she ended the assembly, of course, and she said that, was it three, four years ago, Someone who is successful was sitting right here in your steps. Now, Kyle Huszczyk, I think that's his name. Um, he graduated from our school a couple years ago. He's playing his first NFL football game today for the Baltimore Ravens. Someone who worked hard, was successful, and got there. But the thing that they do, and I think that they hype up, is they think that everyone can do that. Everyone can be that great person. No. See, the thing about him is he was good academically, athletically, this, this, and he worked hard and stayed true to who he was. A lot of these people, they do these other things, they get sidetracked, they do stupid things instead of studying, working out, um, going to work, studying. They do stupid things, drugs, party. They hang out with people too much. They don't know them yet. Gotta find yourself. Okay, why I continue to find out more about myself and why I want to be the real me even more than I think I am. Okay, happy was brought up. And that's what hit for me. Um, Harvey, or Harvey Alston. Happy is what hit me with your speech. And how I question happiness a lot in my life. It's one of the things I question the most. It's one of the things I work to understand the most. Um, okay. Overall, a simple reminder to me to do me to do you regardless okay happy being you you have to find yourself in life okay you have to find you deep deep down you have to find what makes you happy you have to go out there and get it and then people will question what's making you happy they'll think you're not really happy you're showing it you, you're not acting like you're happy but you are you're just not happy with the way things necessarily are in retrospect you're happy with the overall picture but not the grinding details because you see other things, you let you let the the world and what other people have blindside you from what you have, and how what you have is even more special because of how you're able to make it work and you're able to live with it. Okay. We'll save this. That's private. We'll save that for the other video. But um, that's that's all I got, you guys. That was an assembly today, and it was a a reminder. Okay. The biggest thing that clicked with me was happiness and being truly happy, finding you, being you, doing you. You got to do that. A lot of people don't do that. And remember that you have to be the best you can be. You have to be, you have to excel academically in life to be successful. Biggest misconception about schooling and today's youth is that they can go places athletically. You can't think like that. You have to start very, very young with that. And at the same time of doing that athletic stuff, you have to do it academically, too. They're both A's, academics and athletics. They both go hand in hand. A plus A equals success. There's my equation. Probably been said already, okay? But there you go. I want to thank Harvey Olsen for this. They paid a great deal of money for him to come out. It's okay, though. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> so um, it really meant a lot. Got me thinking again. 
but it was a good thinking. I don't think bad anymore about things. I have good thinking now, not bad thinking. I think about happy. And know that I am happy. Truly. Whether or not it seems that way, or you think it, you doubt it, you question it. I'm me. I do me. I'm happy with that. I found someone that is happy with it too. Didn't think I would. Couldn't think it was possible for someone to even come close to seeing something in me or understanding me the way I do. Or wanting to, or caring, or anything. Didn't think that was possible. But it is, apparently. I'm amazed with that. Never thought I'd see it before. And that shows the level of seriousness of it. And how much it really matters, and how true it is. Say that, though. That's not what's on the mind, okay? This is about motivation. Speakers. Motivational speakers. Harvey Olson. Thank you. For it. Be the best you can be, you guys. Remember that. Stay true to who you are. Alright? Don't get blindsided by things, okay? Just do your best, be happy, find you in life, but be realistic at the same time. Thank you, everybody, for listening, possibly watching. Talk to you, everybody, later. Have a great day, and thank you again for everything. Support. The little things, it's great. Thank you.